Goddess here, and today I'm starting my lemon sorbet. So, this is the simple syrup mix that you need to make hours ahead of time two cups of sugar and two cups of water, and you have to mix it until it dissolves. Uh, you cook it and mix it until it dissolves. So, you can see now it's still kind of cloudy. So, I've got to mix this for a while and let it cook over here. It needs to come to a boil. And then it'll be clear, and then this has to cool in the refrigerator. Okay, here is the simple syrup. I have taken it out of the pot it was in, this pot right here, and I have put it in uh, this, uh, what is it, Pyrex um, measuring cup. That's what this is. I'm gonna put it right in the refrigerator and let it cool off as you can see it's still smoking and then we're going to prepare the second part we have to get we have to zest the lemons and we have to squeeze the lemons for the sorbet hey you guys once i got us here here's all of my lemons and right now i'm going to prepare them for squeezing what you're supposed to do is one it's supposed to be room temperature which makes it easier to um get you get more juice from them that way and then you're also supposed to like roll them like this before you juice them. Sorry, the camera's shaking. Um, to get them ready. Oops, sorry. To be juiced. I thought that was kind of interesting. So, I always do this before I squeeze any citrus fruit. See, so look, and the, the, the orange zest is coming out of them. But I always roll them. So I'm going to keep doing this. I just wanted to show you guys another step. And they've been out here on the table for like an hour. Um, so they're not cold anymore. They're totally room temperature. And last time I made this sorbet, I didn't have enough lemons. If you're wondering, like, why does she have so many lemons? I have this many. Last time I had five. And I only got a cup of juice. And you're supposed to have a cup and a half of lemon juice. And my sorbet was more sweet than it was lemony. And I didn't want that problem this time, so. Oh, you can smell the lemons because the oil is bouncing out of the skin because I'm mashing on it. So, last one. Last lemon. So, Soon we shall have lemon sorbet. So I'll see you guys later for the next. Well, you guys, the next step is to actually zest our lemons, and the reason we're going to do that is we need to chop up the zest. It's one of the things you need for the sorbet. You need a tablespoon full of zest. I use a little more. I like the color it adds, and then once it's in there with all that sugar, with the simple syrup, um, it tastes really good. So, you need to zest your lemons. I don't have a grater, and I like the result that comes when I do it this way. Anyway, I just peel thin strips off the lemons before I um, squeeze them. That's our container for our zest. And then I just chop this up really, really, really fine. You can, of course, use a grater um, if you want. And they have lemon zesters. I just never got one. Try not to get the pith in it like I just did. <laughs> Uh, try just to get the yellow. Okay, now 
that we have our zest. I just, you know, put it on a plate. But now I'm going to put it on this. This is on my stove. They're burner covers. And I love them. Um... They're glass. I'm not shaking the camera too much. So this is going to be our lemon zest. So, you don't need this extra. So, we're going to toss that. This, we're going to put we're going to put it in here. Tell me. Let's see, use it. Now it is time to cut and juice our lemons. And, uh, strain out all these seeds. That's the other thing. Okay, we are back. And this is my Cuisinart um, frozen yogurt ice cream and sorbet maker. This is just the base. And yes, that's a fan back there. It is so hot in my kitchen. Alright, so this is just the base. Then this is the top, and it actually fits on top of there, and I'll show you how it works in a minute. This is the beater. Oops. This is the beater that will beat up the ice cream and make it, you know, spin around and press against the cold, um, I forgot what they call it. The cold part that turns it frozen. That is just so scientific. And makes it into sorbet. So that's what that's for. Um, this is my simple syrup that we made earlier. It's been chilling in the fridge for like three hours, so it's ready to go. Here's our lemon zest. And here's our lemon juice. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the part that goes in here. It's like this frozen bucket. And that's what makes our sorbet or your ice cream or whatever you're going to make. I'm going to set everything up and I'm going to be ready to pour everything in there. Um, when we come back, because I don't want it to get warm at all because it needs to be everything needs to go as quickly as possible because that starts to thaw out the second you take it out of the freezer so we'll be back in a second and on our way to making sorbet All right, what we're going to do right now is we're going to add our lemon juice to our simple syrup every drop of it there and we're going to add our zest to that mixture as well Stir everything up, and then we are going to put this into the spout when I take out the um, freezer drum thing. I have to figure out what the name of that is. I've, used, I've done this like four times, and I don't remember what the name of the contraption is. Put the rest of that in there. My sister didn't like the zest, but I like the zest. Alright. So, now I'm going to get that out of the freezer and we're going to be on our right, Here's the drum. I just took it out of the freezer. I keep it in the freezer at all times. Because I never know when I want to make something. And then you put this in here. And it fits, like this brown part fits into that dent. Then you put on... this water in there because I risked it out. Put on the lid and you lock it at the bottom. So then that can turn freely. So we're going to turn it on. You see everything starts spinning. And we're going to pour this in there. And look, all the zest came out good. I thought it was floating on the top. Alright, so now what's going to happen is it is just going to spin and spin and spin and when we come back about 20 minutes later it's going to be mostly frozen 
Now it doesn't get hard enough to really serve in this. You have to put it in the freezer, which is fine, and it gets harder. But um, I just wanted to show you this part of the process, and I will come back and show you what it looks like, you know, once it gets really frosty in there. Hey guys, finally here. As you can see, it's mostly frozen, but it still stays really soft. So now, what I actually have to do is take it out and put it in a container. And then I'm going to put that in the freezer. And so it needs to stay in the freezer about 30 minutes. And it gets to a nice uh, consistency to where you can eat it. Because now it's kind of like soft serve. It's really too soft. It would melt before anybody was able to finish it. But that's what it looks like. So thanks for hanging out with me while I made my lemon sorbet. I'm cooking dinner now. That's going to be hamburger helper sloppy joe. But right now, this is my dessert. So thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, you guys, here's the final, final product. I just keep it in a Rubbermaid container that is... Um, also safe, you know, for the freezer, and here's all the sorbet we made. This is how much we ended up making. So it's a lot. This is enough to serve at least three to four people, you know, depending on how big your sorbet containers are. And it's been in the freezer for about an hour. You see the consistency got kind of hard. It's really hot here in Chicago today. So, um, I've had it out here sitting while I'm filming, and it's getting soft again. But I just wanted you to see the final product, and it's really good. Really, really good. Alright, thanks for watching this, you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Friend me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter using the links in the description box or on my blog. And do me a huge favor and head on over to iTunes and give me a rating and a review for my podcast, The Home Spot Gotta Show. I'd really appreciate it. You can learn how to subscribe to the podcast in the video that follows.